Hello, my name is Mark Piller. I'm with Backendless, a mobile backend as a service platform. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate integration between Tizen apps and Backendless. The setup of my environment consists of Tizen IDE. This is where I have all the code for the applications. There is Tizen Emulator, which we're going to use to run the apps. And there is Backendless Console, which is a browser-based application. The console is the front end for our backend. The source code for the apps came from Tizen SDK. However, we modified it to work with Backendless and to demonstrate the APIs. And the source code of the modified applications is going to be available in our GitHub repository. The first app I'm going to use is the To-Do app. The idea of the application is quite simple. You can create To-Do items, edit or delete them. In the default implementation, the app stores the To-Do items in the local calendar. But the change that we made allows us to store these to-do tasks in the backendless persistent storage. Since the storage is accessible to any client, you can easily build a similar app for Android, iOS, JavaScript, Windows Phone, Flash, or even a desktop application, and easily share the data between the implementations. Let me show you how that would work. First, let's start the application on the emulator. Now it is running. As we can see, there, there are no to-dos in here, and then let's create one. A to-do consists of several elements. There is a subject, there is a location, priority, sensitivity status, and the description, and as well as the start and due date. And for the subject, let's enter shopping. So as you can see, it is there. And for, for the description, let's enter just various items that we're going to shop for. So now all the basic information is there and we're going to save this to-do entry. The to-do entry has been created and we're going to switch to our backendless console. This is the application, uh, the backend that we're using. Uh, and by switching to data, we're going to see that there is a to-do table that is now created. And inside of the to-do, there is going to be our entry. So for the subject, as you can see, it is shopping. There is a, there is a description. Uh, which we have entered and, and so on. Uh, the cool thing about it is now, since this object is stored in Backendless, we can use the Backendless APIs for various other clients to access this data. And as a result, it's going to be trivially simple to create an application that runs elsewhere, perhaps in the browser or Android, iOS, that provides the same access and the same functionality. So it could be a to-do app that is written in the browser that you can manage and work with exactly the same data. To demonstrate this, I have put together uh, a very uh, basic JavaScript application. Uh, let's take a look at the source code. So we import uh, backendless JavaScript library, uh, declare our to-do object, uh, which basically has exactly the same properties that we had in Tizen. We initialize the application, as you can see right here. Uh, we get the access to the persistence store for the to-do class. Uh, we create an instance of our to-do, as you can see, uh, let's say it says buy new computer description check online for details and we save our object okay so uh, and this happens let's reload this page click on this link and now the object is saved so if we go to our persistent storage and now we have two different to-do items so right here in the Tizen app whenever we click on this all selector it's going to reload everything from the back end so now, as you can see, that there is buy new computer, which was created from JavaScript, is uh, is also visible in the Tizen application. Uh, in fact, if uh, let's say we go and modify one of these using the the console, so let's say we're going to say buy new laptop, and it is now saved. If I go and update the Tizen application, it does say buy new laptop. So as you can see, it is actually very, very easy to work with the centralized storage that is accessible to different types of applications. And uh, by doing it on Tizen, you can just leverage pretty much all the functionality that exists in Backendless.